Master Commercial Shipping, Essential Tips Welcome back to our Customs Brokerage series, where we discuss all things related to customs processes and international trade. In today's video, we are going to explore the specific requirements and considerations when shipping commercial goods. So, if you're an importer or exporter looking to transport your goods across borders, this video is for you. Let's dive right in. When it comes to shipping commercial goods, one of the most critical aspects is understanding the customs clearance process. Customs clearance refers to the necessary procedures and documentation required to comply with import or export regulations of a particular country. This process ensures that goods can move smoothly through customs, avoiding any unnecessary delays or penalties. To facilitate the customs clearance process, many businesses choose to work with customs brokers. Customs brokers are licensed professionals who specialize in customs regulations and procedures. They act as intermediaries between importers or exporters and the customs authorities. Their expertise ensures that all the necessary documents are prepared correctly, taxes and duties are paid, and the goods meet all the legal requirements. Hiring a customs broker can save you time, effort, and potential headaches when shipping commercial goods. Another crucial consideration when shipping commercial goods is the requirement for a customs bond. A customs bond is a financial guarantee that ensures importers comply with all customs regulations and obligations. It serves as a form of insurance for the government, protecting their interests in case of any non-compliance or potential monetary loss. Importers must obtain a customs bond before their goods can be cleared through customs. These bonds can be obtained from insurance companies or through a customs broker. Additionally, when shipping commercial goods, it's essential to be aware of the Importer Security Filing ISF, requirement. The ISF is a filing that importers are required to submit to customs authorities. It must be submitted at least 24 hours before the goods are loaded onto a vessel bound for the United States. This filing includes specific information about the goods, such as the shipper's name and address, consignee's name and address, and a detailed description of the cargo. Compliance with the ISF requirement is crucial, as failure to submit or inaccuracies in the filing can lead to penalties or even the refusal of entry for your goods. In the realm of international trade, it's also important to understand the concept of incoterms. Incoterms, short for International Commercial Terms, are a set of internationally recognized rules that define the responsibilities and obligations of buyers and sellers in international trade transactions. Incoterms determine who is responsible for the costs, risks, and logistics associated with the transportation of goods. By familiarizing yourself with these terms, you can ensure clear communication and avoid misunderstandings with your trading partners when shipping commercial goods. Lastly, it's crucial to stay up to date with the ever-changing customs regulations and trade policies. Customs laws and regulations can vary among different countries, and they often undergo revisions or updates. As an importer or exporter, it's your responsibility to stay informed about these changes to avoid any potential compliance issues or delays in the clearance of your commercial goods. Regularly consulting with your customs broker or accessing official customs websites can provide you with the latest information and ensure smooth customs processes. That concludes our video on shipping commercial goods and the associated customs requirements. We hope you found this information helpful for your import or export endeavors. Stay tuned for more videos in our Customs Brokerage series, where we will continue to explore different topics related to customs, trade, and logistics. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest updates. Disclaimer note below. See you!